a circle of radius 1 is internally tangent to two circles of radius 2 at points A and B, where AB is a diameter of the smaller circle. What is the area of the region shaded in the figure that is outside the smaller circle and inside each of the two larger circles? So this is our diagram, and we basically have to figure out the area of the shaded region. So first I'll give you the strategy, and then once I give you the strategy, I'll proceed. Area of the shaded region will basically be the area that is common to the two circles. Subtract the small circle, which is going to be pi small r squared. Now what area is common to the two circles? It's this one right here. That is common to both circles, and if we find that, and we subtract from that the small circle, we will get the shaded region. Now the good news is that the small circle has a radius of 1, so this part just becomes pi 1 squared, and this is just the area of the common region minus pi. So in the next part of the question, I will concentrate on finding the common area. So here's the diagram again, and I'm interested in finding the common region to these two circles that are identical. Now, these circles have certain properties, right? We know that they have both a radius of 2, and they basically have center points right here and right here. And if you were to draw a line from those two center points, they basically would join like that, and that line would have a length of 2. Why? Because it essentially represents the radius. Okay? So that's the first part of this diagram. The next part is I'm going to draw lines to make triangles. So I've got a line from there to there, a line from there to there, and very similarly, lines on the other side like that. Now let's talk about these lines. What do they represent? This first line we already discussed was the radius of either circle. What about this line here? That's also the radius of this circle on the bottom, so that is 2. And then this line represents the radius of the top circle. So that's also 2. So therefore, this is an equilateral triangle. And in a very similar way, that's 2 and that's 2. So there you go. Now, to find the common region to these two circles, which I previously highlighted, it's basically this one right here, that region right there, we have a certain strategy. We have to find the area of the two equilateral triangles, and then we have to find the area of this region that I'm labeling as A. And there are four identical regions of that kind. So the area that is common to those two circles will be the two equilateral triangles plus four of those A's. So let's first proceed with the equilateral triangle. So each of those equilateral triangles basically looks like this that I just drew on the side. We've got side lengths of 2, and we therefore need to find the area. So to find the area, I'm just going to draw a perpendicular from one side to the other, like that. And that will therefore cut this in half. This will be 1, and this will be 1. And we can easily figure out this length by Pythagoras. Basically, if we call that height, it'll be h squared plus 1 squared is equal to 2 squared. And therefore, h squared is equal to 4 minus 1, which is 3, and h is root 3. Okay? So therefore, each of these 
equilateral triangles has an area as follows. One half base, which is two, times height, which we just figured out was root three. And keep in mind that there's two of them, so I'll just multiply by two, like that. Now I have to figure out my area for A. Now how do I do that? Concentrate on this region right here. From there to there and then across the circle. That is a pi, correct? And that pi will allow me to figure out region A. If I can figure out the area of pi, and then subtract from it the area of the equilateral triangle, I will get A. So how do I figure out the area of that pi? That pi is essentially just a segment of the area of the circle, a circle of radius 2, pi r squared. But how much of the circle? Well, remember this was an equilateral triangle, so this is 60 degrees. So 60 is what you would place here. And then, once you have that, you would subtract from it the area of the equilateral triangle. And that would give you A. So first, let's just figure out the area of the pi. So this would be 1 over 6 pi times 4. So this becomes 4 pi over 6. And then to get A, I would take my pi, which is this whole region, and I would subtract from it this equilateral triangle. And if I do that, I will get the area for A. So A is basically the pi, which is 4 pi over 6. Subtract from it the area of the equilateral triangle, which is 1 half base, right here, 2 times height which is root 3. And therefore we've got 2 pi over 3 in lowest terms minus root 3. And there you have it. And now we can substitute that into here. So AC will then become 2 root 3 plus 4 times 2 pi over 3 minus root 3, like this. And this becomes 2 root 3 plus 8 pi over 3 minus 4 root 3. And this becomes 8 pi over 3 minus 2 root 3. This is the area of the common region. So we'll take that and place that into the first part of the equation which is right here. Area of the shaded region is the area of the common region minus pi r squared, and since the small r was 1, we got ac minus pi. What did we get for our ac, our common region? We got right here, 8 pi over 3 minus 2 root 3. 8 pi over 3 minus 2 root 3, and then don't forget this minus pi. So we get a common denominator, and that will be 8 pi minus 3 pi, which is 5 pi over 3 minus 2 root 3. That is the area of the shaded region. And let's see the answer choices. 5 pi divided by 3 minus 2 root 3 for number 25 is answer choice B.